I didn't want it to feel like we were trying to be a horror film. I just wanted it to be a movie that kind of turns into a horror film. Yeah. I can't believe we're doing it. I would have thought you'd need at least a day for that. I know. We're, uh, today's a powerhouse day. Yeah. It was designed from the beginning that we wanted to, to be a completely practical film, to have, you know, real blood effects, all of the throat gashes and head smashes and all of the stuff needed to just be real. Blood, action. Ah! Like even on set, like a character would come out of makeup and you just kind of like, oh, like I don't even really want to look at you, man. Like it's just, it's just disgusting. How did you do that? Did you do it palm down or thumb down? That'd be fun right there. Yeah, yeah. You're like that, right? So the problem is actually a reason. What we had to do is we had to build up the insanity level as the movie goes. So it kind of starts off as one film and locks you in, and then it slowly, you know, it gets funnier. And then the synth score and stuff ends up coming in. I had kind of a weird childhood. I grew up on a survivalist compound. I think perhaps I was going to shoot it more straightforward horror. Then it sort of revealed itself to me as much more in on its own joke in a lot of ways. The only way to really do it was to make it funny out of the situation. The humor comes from the way people are kind of interacting with each other within the circumstances that they're set in. I had to stab my brother more than once. You were supposed to do that. There's no jokes in the movie at all. It's never winking at you. It's never doing any kind of postmodern like references, you know, the way that like, Scream did or Cabin in the Woods. It's just playing it very straight, but letting you know that when Joe has this arrow sticking out of his back for the entire movie and is knocking into things that it's clearly okay to laugh at those circumstances. Ah!